Some foods that you can't gain weight from even if you tried. And the bowl of food was this big. Grab your extra large size plates because these foods are fantastic. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe. Also turn your bell notifications on because this is a daily motivational fitness page and channel where I document my weight loss journey for you guys. You come over and follow that with me and I update you on all the ins and outs and tips and tricks on how to lose weight as well as crazy fun challenges. But give this video a massive thumbs up as well to be a part of my weight loss journey. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some foods that you can't gain weight from even if you tried. Now on a weight loss journey food is a huge catalyst to losing weight and I thought it'd be so good to do a video because a lot of the time we can feel a bit stuck on food options and food choices. Before I officially had my weight successful weight loss journey I had a lot of yo-yo dieting and I used to either all in with the healthy food or or I'd give up and then go straight back to the unhealthy food. There's actually so much variety within healthy food and I'm going to be giving you the foods today that you can have so much of and still be within weight loss your extra large sized bowl, grab your extra large sized plates because these foods are fantastic for snacking, for cravings, for fighting that hunger and you can continue eating those throughout the day. Hi friends, I quickly interrupt this video to let you know I do have my weight loss and fitness plans available for sale right now on my website. The link is in the description. So when you purchase one of the plans, you have one-to-one -one motivation for me. It's a community of 24-7 support in our private Facebook group. You can talk as much as you like, ask as many questions if you're feeling disheartened, if you're having a successful week, a bad week, ask all those questions talk about that share us what you had for lunch high and low intensity fat burning workouts available on there meal ideas opportunities to win prizes each month to motivate you and push you to continue your weight loss journey so it's all around just to support so the emphasis behind this is it's not just a fitness or workout plan it's a motivational support 24 7 from the private group one-to-one -one sessions from me if you want extra motivation or one-to-ones to ask me questions anything like that throughout your weight loss journey it's all available in this plan either the four week one or the 12 week one it's all included so do come over and check that out if you're on your weight loss journey or want to start your weight loss journey or just tired and frustrated of not being at your weight loss goal it is going to be so amazing for you to finally help you guys get to your goals now i love you guys so much let's get back to the video now guys don't forget that for an overall weight loss you want to be in a calorie deficit now i always recommend for you guys to go on an online calculators to calculate how much your specific body putting your height current weight goal weight will need in order to get to that calorie deficit and how much you should be eating specifically a day. Now food number one, a lot of the time during weight loss that people tell you do not eat fruit, stay away from fruit, fruit is going to ruin everything for you and that people say that because of the natural sugars that are found in fruit and yes sugar is sugar, now people have this misconception that they're natural sugars they won't affect you, sugar is sugar at the end of the day however it will have a slightly different effect on the body and you won't be gaining large amounts of fat as you would with a carbohydrate or a fattier food. So food number one is actually you can have fruit but there is a specific type of fruit that will differ from gaining weight versus losing weight and the one that will allow you to lose weight and still have a large amount of are berries and apples. Now first of all going into the berries you know when you buy a punnet, punnet of strawberries now a punnet of strawberries will probably be the box that it comes in about this size. I actually learned that you can have an up that I do without affecting my weight loss at all you can have an entire punnet of strawberries. So I'm telling you, if you're going for a movie night with the girls who are having a very hungry day or you just can't control your cravings at all, you can actually have a whole entire box of strawberries and for it not to affect your weight loss. Same applies with blueberries. These berry fruits, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, you'll see a lot of fitness people, including myself, snacking on these 24 seven. You can actually eat a whole one without it affecting your weight loss journey. So when you go to the shops and you buy your packet of strawberries and people ask for any, you, you don't have to share because you can actually eat all of that yourself and it won't affect you too much at all. The next one is apples. So again, out of all the fruit groups, apples is another one that you can actually have a lot of. Apples are 80% water and although the sugar content, you might see it on the packet and panic, the sugar content is bad, you can have your apple a day and apples are 80% water. So again, you're getting your nutrients and they're not going to make, imagine having an apple diet. You're not going to get hugely large over eating apples and they're so good to have for snacking, for, you know, walking around the office, biting your apple walking around school it's so good have two a day go go crazy go wild apples do not ruin my weight loss i think i've had i had a week where i had four apples a day 
on top of everything else and it doesn't affect your weight loss journey at all so if you're craving an extra snack go grab your apple now you guys know i did the egg diet on my channel which is now at 70,000 views can i just say thank you first of all but i recently did the egg diet on my channel about two three months ago now in this egg diet is mainly just eating six eggs a day i think there's just one other food which is sweet potato but other than that you're just eating but other than that you're just eating six eggs a day now eggs are amazing you've seen fitness people you've seen fitness influencers including myself who will literally eat three or four eggs for breakfast now first of all eggs are 60 calories so if you have four eggs for breakfast and you walk away feeling extremely full think about the fat content think about the carb content it's one of the lower foods of that so eggs is another thing that you can snack on if you're feeling hungry and peckish throughout the day go and grab another egg and another egg and another egg and another egg be careful of cholesterol so sometimes maybe if you're on your third egg switch up to removing the egg white or just having the egg white version eggs are amazing eggs are fantastic and that is why they're so heavy it's like kind of like how porridge is heavily used or oats for people who ask me what is porridge porridge is oats in the uk now, the success and unsuccess to a weight loss is also missing the textures of different foods one of the main textures that we all love and are obsessed with is the crunch of crisps the crunch of all these unhealthy snacks pistachios pretzels uh, salted pretzels all these things but we're craving and missing this crunch texture you can actually still have that and the next food is actually having celery celery sticks or kale chips but this is alongside the rest of your calories and celery sticks are going to be fantastic because you can fry them have celery stick crisps sprinkle a bit of salt sprinkle a bit of seasoning and eat you can eat as much one celery stick you're eating like five calories you can fry an entire bowl low fat fried an entire bowl of celery sticks and eat them like crisps have that texture have that crunch kale chips you can have a gigantic plate of kale chips and eat them to your heart's content and the thing when you do that is you can actually fry it a little bit in low fat fry or low fat because what you've replaced the carbohydrates and the fat you have so much more leeway when it comes to sauces on top of it so salt seasonings and you really can go crazy and go wild with it imagine the amount that you can have versus the amount that you'll have of two sweets you will have 10 bowls of kale chips 50 bowls of celery crisps the next food is cabbage now cabbage is an amazing one because guys in a massive bowl of cabbage this big like i'm not talking about the normal cereal sized bowls i'm talking about the the size bowl that you put on the middle of a table when you have people around and they all go and you know serve their own bit of cabbage that massive cabbage bowl is probably slowly coming up to about 100 calories if you're lucky cabbage is literally i mean it's not calorie free but we might as well say it's calorie free because the the lowness of the calories within cabbage are insane and you can have so much of it you can literally that feeling that you get after going to a buffet where your stomach is crazily full can be the exact same effect because of how much cabbage you can actually end up having and that concept to me is fantastic because some people even on a weight loss journey need to eat till fullness in order to feel satisfied after a meal so say you've had your normal meal of salmon and, and rice and you still feel very peckish after that meal that has all the flavors and the seasoning and everything like that everything that you wanted to have have an entire bowl of cabbage with maybe add some strawberries in it i don't know what mixture you guys want to do add some cucumber in it have an entire massive bowl you've probably only added less than 100 calories and the bowl of food was this big so guys you have so much leeway when it comes to a weight loss journey and these can be foods on top of the foods that you already eat naturally so if you already eat rice and pasta within your weight loss journey but of course the quantities are smaller remember Remember these foods that I've listed today you can have on top and on top and on top of those foods in order to eat till fullness if you are someone who wants to feel that fullness if you're someone who has cravings you have the leeway with strawberries you have the leeway with blueberries you can have your two apples a day on top of that you can have your six extra eggs after one egg after every breakfast lunch and dinner if you then want to have a snack after that subscribe and be a part of this journey I'd love to have every single one of you guys on there don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page as well but also come over and follow my personal instagram page as well don't forget to turn your bell notifications on because we are a daily fitness channel if you guys are on a weight loss journey or if you just want to come over and watch me a lot of you guys just want to watch my videos which is amazing i love you guys so much for that so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to come over and follow me on my pages i love you guys so much turn your bell notifications on and i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys